Hey everyone, ocean conservation and marine life expert Jacqueline Friedlander here, and today I'm going to teach you some amazing things I bet you didn't know about dolphins. There's a fun activity at the end of this video, so watch the whole way through and then try it at home and let me know how well you did in the comment section below. Dolphins are marine mammals. Three key factors that most mammals possess are that they have hair or fur, the mothers produce milk for the babies, and the mothers give live births. Dolphins are born with hair on their upper lip that usually falls out within two weeks of birth, and they don't grow any more hair for the rest of their lives, which is probably why you've never seen a hairy dolphin. The reason I have to say most mammals give live birth is because the platypus, which is technically a mammal, is one example of a species that lays eggs. Since dolphins are not fish, they cannot breathe underwater. The reason for this is because fish have gills and dolphins do not. Dolphins breathe air through their blowholes, which are located at the top of their heads. They come up to the surface, take in a breath of air, and then close their blowhole before diving back into the ocean. So why can dolphins open their mouths to eat underwater and not choke, but humans can't? It's because of the location of the trachea and the esophagus. The way our trachea and our esophagus work is that they are two separate pipes that both start in our throats and continue down into our chests. Our esophagus leads to our stomach and our trachea leads to our lungs. When we breathe, air goes down our trachea and into our lungs, and when we eat food, it goes down our esophagus and into our stomach. But when we open our mouths, both air and food can get in at the same time. While dolphins have both a trachea and an esophagus, the location of these pipes is vital to their ability to live underwater. They start from two separate areas. Their trachea is connected to their blowhole and their esophagus is in their throat. When they open their mouths to eat, there's no chance of water getting in. Also, when they open their blowhole at the surface, food doesn't go in, so there's no chance of anything going down the wrong pipe. When they open their blowhole, if water starts to go in, they have to blow it out because if it actually gets inside the dolphin, it's very dangerous and they can drown. Several things can cause a dolphin to drown. Sometimes they get caught in nets and are unable to return to the surface to breathe. Another way they can drown is if they ever fall asleep. Dolphins, along with many other marine mammals like whales, are conscious breathers, which means they have to think about breathing. They rest and half of their brain shuts down and they close one eye, but they're never fully asleep because if they fall asleep, they would forget to breathe. Half of the dolphin's brain is always alert and active, ready to wake them up if danger is present and remind them to take a breath when it's time. They usually rest near the surface, so it's easy for them to take a breath. A dolphin can go on average five to seven minutes without taking a breath, and they usually breathe between one and 12 times a minute, depending on how active they are at the time. So here's a fun little experiment for you to try at home. Set a timer for one minute. Breathe normally and count how many times you breathe. Now set the timer again for one minute and try holding your breath and see how many seconds you can hold it for. Compare your results to how a dolphin breathes. Leave your results in the comments below. And if you want weekly ocean and conservation information, click subscribe. See you next Friends with Fins Friday. Thanks for watching.